Talmud Bavli Kamar Brachot, Perek Shvi, Chapter 7, Daf Mem Chet, page 48. Uh, we're starting on 48a. La Toye Katan Poreach, to include a minor who has sprouted. We let you chatak yachol, hanei shmatata. However, the halakha does not follow any of these teachings. Ela ki ha dama rav nachman, rather that which rav nachman said, katan ha yodei lemi mevachin, a minor who knows to whom we recite the blessing. Mizam nina love, we join in zimun on account of him. Abay varava havu yatvei kamei de rava, abay and rava were sitting before rava in their childhood. Ama lehu rava, rava said to them, Lemim vachin, to whom do we recite the blessing? Amule, they said to him, Lerachamana, to the merciful one, Lerachamana, Hechayativ, and where does the merciful one dwell? Rava achve lishme talala, Rava pointed to the ceiling. Abaye nafak levara achave kalape shmaya, Abaye went outside and pointed towards the sky. Amalehu Rava, Rava said to them, Tarvayechu, Ravanan havito, both of you will be grub to be rabbis. Haimu de amay inche, this is what people say. Utsin utsin miktife mikitfe yadia. Small pumpkins are discernible uh, from their sap. This means that as soon as a pumpkin begins to sprout from the vine, it transform, transforms the sap in the vine to a budding fruit. And this will discern whether it will develop into a good pumpkin or not. Amarav Yehuda Berei de Rav Shmuel Bar Shilat Mishmei de Rav Rav Yehuda, the son of Rav Shmuel Bar Shila, said in the name of Rav Tisha Achlu Dagan Ve'echad Achal Yerek Nine ate grain and a tenth ate a vegetable Mitzdar Thin and they combined to effect a ten man uh, a ten man um, Zimun, Ama Rabbi Zera, Rabbi Zera said, But I am Mina in Rabbi Yehuda, I inquired of Rabbi Yehuda. Shmona Mahu, eight uh, people, eight, what is the law? Shiva Mahu, um, seven, eight, what is the law? Amali said to me, Loshna, it is no different. In these cases, uh, you can also combine. Shishavadai Lomi Bayali, uh, when only six ate bread and only four ate vegetables, I did not inquire this because. Uh, the understanding of that was that uh, they, that six cannot form a quorum. Amalei Rabbi Yirmiya, Rabbi Yirmiya said to him, Shapira varata delo ibayalach, you acted properly in refraining from inquiring. Hatam tamamai there, what is the reason? Mishum de ikaruba, because there is, so for a seven man, um, for a seven man zimon, uh, there is a majority who ate bread. Pachanami, he too, even though six, Ikaruba, there is a majority who ate bread. So why can't they combine? The Uhu Sabaruba, Diminka, Binan, but Rabbi Zera holds that a noticeable majority, uh, a noticeable majority is necessary, meaning that uh, six is not enough to, to notice the majority in seven years. Yanai Malka U Malkta Kirihu Rifta Bahade Hadar Hadade King Yanai and the Queen were eating bread together U Mi Umidikata Lehu Ravanan Lohavale Inish Levaruche Lehu and since Yanai had massacred the rabbis he did not have anyone to recite the Karamazon for them. Amala Lidvitu he said to his wife, Manya Hivlan Gavra who could give us a person who would recite Birkat Amazon for us? Amrale, she said to him, Ishtabali de i maitina la gavra de lo mitzat matzaratle. Swear to me that if I bring you a person to do the Birkat Amazon, you will not persecute him. Ishtabala, he swore to her, Aitite li Shimon ben Shatach achuba. She brought Shimon ben Shatach, her brother. Otve ben Dide le Dida, the king said, Shimon ben Shatach between himself and the queen. Amale, the king said to her, 
Chazit kama yakara avadin alach. Do you see how much honor I am according you? Amalei Shimon ben Shatak replied, Lav at ka mukrat mukrali. It is not you who accords me honor. Ela oraita hi to mukrali. Rather, it is the Torah that accords me honor. Tichtiv, as it's written, Salsalaha, Salsaleha utromamecha techabdecha ki techabukena. Caress the Torah and it will uplift you. It will honor you when you embrace it. Amala King Yana commented to the queen, Ka Khazit de Lo Mikabel Marut, you see he does not accept my authority. Yahabule Kasa Livaroche anyway they gave Shimon Ben Shotach a cup uh, in order to write a cup of wine to recite Bakaramazon. Amar he said, Hefi Avarech, how should I recite? Baruch Shachal Yanai Bachaverab Mishelo, blessed is he of whose Yanai and his friends have eaten. Shatye lahahu kasa, he drank that cup of wine. Yavu le kasa achrina uvarek, and they gave him another cup, and he recited Bekar Amazon over it. So, because he drank the first cup of wine, he began, he was eligible to say the beginning of the Zimon Nevarech Shachanu Mishalo. So we learn from this that when the majority of the Quran ate bread, those in the minority can join the Zimun even if they just drink wine. Ama Rabbi Abba, the reads of Rabbi Chiyabar Abba, Rabbi Abba, the son of Rabbi Chiyabar Abba said, in the name of Rabbi Yochanan, Shimon ben Shatach Dava, Shimon ben Shatach, who did this, le garme hu Dava, did so according to his personal opinion. Te hachi Ama Rabbi Chiyabar Abba, Amar Rabbi Yochanan, for so said Rabbi Chia Barava in the name of Rabbi Yochanan, the Olam Eno Moti et Arabim Yedei Chovatan. Never can one help the public discharge uh, their Bekanamazon obligation, Ajio Chal Kazaitagan, unless he eats an olive's volume of grain or of food made from grain. Meti Ben, there's a challenge of this. Rabban Shimon Ben Gamil over there. Rabban Shimon Ben Gamil says, Allah Behesev. Imahim, if one entered a room where a group was dining, uh, if one entered and reclined with them and ate food with them, a lot imahim Even if he merely dipped it in brine uh, and ate together with them, velo achal imahim ela grogeret achat, or he merely ate one dried fig together with them. Mitz daref, he combines for the menu. It's tarufe mitzaref, combining. Uh, so, so there's an, the answer is that he combines to form the quorum. quorum. <coughs> uh, he combines aval lehotzi as harabim yedei chavatan, but for helping the public discharge their bekanamazon obligation, ad shiochal kazain tagan. He, unless he eats an olive's volume of grain, uh, he has to eat that first in order to help the public discharge. It's my name, it was simply stated, Ama Rav Chana Bar Yehuda Mishmei De Rava. Rav Chana Bar Yehuda said in the name of Rava, Afilu Lo, um, I'm just going to turn the page. Even if one really dipped uh, a vegetable in brine together and ate together with a group of bread eaters, um, or merely ate one dried fig together with them, instead of combines with them. But for helping the public discharge their obligation, Eino Motsi, who cannot help discharge their public obligation, unless he eats a volume of, uh, of grain.
Amar Rav Khan Abaya is a Mishmedi Rava. Rav Khan Abaya is a Sinan Rava. Hilkat Hala Hacha is Achal Ale Yerek Veshata Kos Shoyan. One eighty vegetable with or drank a cup of wine. Mitzteref, he combines uh, to complete the Zimun. Lehotzi, but for helping uh, to discharge the public obligation, Einamotzi ad shiochal kazay tadai. He cannot help them discharge their obligation unless he eats an always volume of grain for the public obligation. Amar Rav Nachman, Rav Nachman said, Moshe tikin Yisrael bir katazan, Moses composed for Israel the blessing of Hazan uh, at the time that the manna fell from the, the manna fell for them. Yoshua tikin lahem birkata aretz kevan shinifnesul aretz. Joshua composed uh, this is, these are parts of the birkat on the zon. Joshua composed for them the blessing for the land when they entered the land of Israel. David and Solomon composed Bonei Yerushalayim. David and Al Yisrael Amecha and Al Yisrael Amecha. David composed on Israel your people and on Jerusalem your city. And Solomon composed on the great and holy house. And composed on the great and holy house. Hatova Metiv was um, composed in Yavne, Keneged Haruge Beitar, on account of the slain Jews of Beitar and, their, and God's goodness to their bodies. Dama Rav Matna Rav Mana said, Oto Hayom Shinitnu Haruge Beitar Likura. That day which the slain of Beitar were afforded burial, Tiknu Yavne Hatova Metiv, they said the words Hatova Metiv. Hatov shelo hisrichu. Hatov is about the fact that the bodies did not decay. Hametiv shenit no bekura, and hametiv is that they were afforded a burial. Tanu Rabbanu, the rabbis taught in Brisa. The order of Birkat HaMazon is as follows. Rachari Shunah Birkat Hazan, the first is uh, the blessing of Hazan. Shunia Birkat Haaretz, the second is the blessing for the land. Shlishi Bonei Yerushalayim, the third is Bonei Yerushalayim. Revi'i Tatov HaMetiv, the fourth is Atov HaMetiv. Uva Shabbat, on Shabbat, Matchil Bonei Chama, Nesayim Bonei Chama. On Shabbat, one begins with consolation and concludes with consolation. Uh, and also mentions the sanctity of Shabbat in the middle of the blessing. Rabbi Lezer Omer, Rabbi Lezer says, one wishes to mention the sanctity of Shabbat's day in the consolation in the consolation blessing. That's where he may, he may mention it there. In the blessing for land, he may mention it there. In the blessing that the sage is composed in Yavna, he may mention it there. The Chachim will mean, but the sages say, Einu Omra Ela Bin Chamabilva. One may not mention, uh, that is, may not mention the sanctuary of Shabbos Day, except in the consolation prayer. The Chachim Haino Tanakama. So the sages ask, uh, is, that, is uh, that the same opinion as the Tanakama? There is a difference between them where it was already done. Meaning, if it was already done, um, the Tanakam says you don't need to repeat, but uh, from the beginning, the mention of Shabbos Day needs to be inside the blessing of consolation. So let's scroll down. <coughs> We're um, on the third line of the screen at the end. Tana Rabbanu, the Rabbis Torah of Brisa. Minayin Levirkat Hamazon, Minat Torah. From where in the Torah do we uh, do we see that we do Birkat Hamazon? Shnei Ma'afar it stated, Vachalta v'Sevata v'Rafta l'Zu Birkat Hazan. And you shall eat, and you shall be satisfied, and you shall bless. This is the blessing of Hazan. Hazan is who nourishes. Et Hashem Elkecha Zobirkat Hazimon. 
Hashimagor, this is the Zimun blessing. Al Haaretz, Zogat Hataaretz, for the land, this is the blessing for the land. Atova Zogbani Yerushalayim, the good, this is a reference to the blessing of Bani Yerushalayim. Vechen Hu Omer, and so it states, Hahar Hatov Hazeh Velevanon, this good mountain and the Lebanon. Asher Natamach Zoh Hatov Metiv, that he gave you, this is the blessing of Hatov Metiv. And the Yela Lacharab, I have only, um, I have only after. So this is um, so the the query now is uh, all of these sources are blessings after eating. Lefanav minayin. How do we know where we bless before eating? Amata kalvachomer. You could say it's a kalvachomer, meaning uh, from light to um, to uh, heavy or light to important. Keshehu savea mevarech when one is satiated, you recite a blessing. Kehu ra'ev lo kol sheken. Isn't it certainly when he's hungry that he says a blessing? Rabbi Omer, Rabbi says, Enot riach, the kal v'chomer is not necessary. Zogekat hazan, sorry, v'achalta v'savata uvrachta et Hashem elokecha zogekat hazan. You shall eat and you shall be satisfied and you shall bless Hashem your God. This is the blessing of hazan. Avav v'chat hazimun mi gadlu but the Zimun blessing is from declare the greatness of Hashem with me. Uh, that's a, a verse. Al For the land, this is a blessing for the land. Atova, zo The good is bani yishalaim. Nechen hu omer. And so it states, hahar atova zeva Lebanon, the good mountain and Lebanon. Atova amitiv be of an antiknol. Atov Hava uh, Amitiv was instituted in Yavna, and that was from the rabbis. I'm just going to scroll down. Ainli El Alacharav, I have only, again, only a source for after eating. Lefanav, Minayin, from where do we know to bless before we eat? Talmud Lama Asher Natamach. The verse says, that he gave you Ashenatamach. Mishnah, Ni Shenatamach, from when he gave you, means before you read it. Rabbi Yitzhak Omer, Rabbi Yitzhak says, Enot Tzarech, this final, uh, the final, uh, is not necessary. Harehu Omer, because it states, Uvarech et lachmecha ve et nemecha, and he will bless your bread and your water. It's from uh, Exodus. He will bless your bread and your water. Al tikre uverach. Do not read uverach. Ela uverach. Rather uverach means you shall recite. The emate karui lachem. And when is and when is it called bread? Kodem shiachelno before one eats it. Rabbi Natan Omer, Rabbi Natan says, Enot Tzarech, this is not necessary. Harehu Omer, because it says, Kevo Achem Ha'ir Ken Timtun Oto Beterem Ya'ale Habamata Lecho. As you enter the city, you will surely find him before he ascends to the high place to it. Kilo Yochal Ha'am Adbo'o Kihu Yuvarech Hazevach. For the people will not eat until he comes, since he blesses nothing. Only then will the invited ones eat. The call kachana and why so much? In response to Saul's question, the fish and Hashem de debar debraniot hen, because women are talkers. Or Shmuel Amar, another answer. Shmuel said, but Shmuel said kedele his dakel. In order to gaze upon Shaul's handsomeness, dictative, it's written, From his shoulders up, he was taller than any of the people. The third answer, um, Rabbi Yochanan Amar, Rabbi Yochanan says, 
Bechevrata Afilu Kilo Nima, because the rain does not encroach upon another even by the breadth of a hair. Samuel was the judge of Israel at the time, and the leadership of the nation was to pass from him to Shaul with their encounter. God placed this lengthy reply in the mouths of the maidens in order to delay the portentous encounter until the predestined moment so that the reign of Shaul would not encroach upon the time that had been designated for Samuel's leadership by even a hair's breadth. Therefore, the explanation that the maidens delayed in order to gaze upon Saul's handsomeness is rejected on the basis of the argument. Um, okay, let's keep going. The Ain, the Ella Birkatamazon. So far, I only have a blessing over food. Birkata Torah Mino. Where do we get a blessing over the Torah? Amar Rabbi Yishmael, Rabbi Yishmael, Sel, Kav Chomer, it's a Kav Chomer. Al Chaye Sha'am Varech. On a temporary life, one decides a blessing. Al Chaye Olam Haba Lo Kol Shaken. Wouldn't we certainly make a blessing uh, uh, for for life in the world to come? Rabbi Chia Bar Nachmani, Talmud Shel Rabbi Yishmael Omer. Mishum Rabbi Yishmael. Rabbi Chia Bar Nachmani, the student of Rabbi Yishmael, says in the name of Rabbi Yishmael. Eino Tzarich, we don't need Kavu Chomer, Harei Hu Omer, White States, Al Ha'aretz HaTovah Hashem HaTanach. So the sentence, the complete sentence is, And you shall bless Hashem your God for the good land that he gave you. Le Halan Hu Omer, and elsewhere it says, Ve Etna Lecha Et Luchot HaEven HaTorah VaMitzvah VeGomer. And I'll give you the stone tablets and the Torah and the commandments, etc. Rabbi Meir Omer, Rabbi Meir says, Uminay Shekeshem Shemevarech al Hatava. From where do we get that just as one recites a blessing for good, Kach Mevarech al Hara'a, so too one recites a blessing for the bad. Talmud Lomar, Asher Natan Lecha, Hashem Lokecha. The Torah says that He, Hashem, your God, gave you. Dianecha, um, Dianecha. This is um, so um, the word Natana. So in that previous sentence, we learn Hashem Natana Cha Hashem Elokecha is your God. Um, Dianecha is also a reference to God, which means your judge. The whole thing Shedanecha for whatever judgment He judges you with, Ben Mida Tova or Ben Mida Puranot, whether the measure of of is, ben, of is beneficial or is a measure of retribution. Rabbi Yehuda ben Betera Omer Rabbi Yehuda ben Betera said, "Ainot tzarech, this is not necessary." Harei hu Omer because it says, "Tova is hatova, the good, the tova, uh, the good hatova, tova zotora, good is a reference to Torah." Vechein hu Omer. So it says, for I've given you a good teaching, the good, this is by Yerushalayim, the Chena Omer, and so it states, the good mountain, and the, this good mountain, and the Lebanon. Tanya, it was taught in a brasa, Rabbi Eliezer Omer, Rabbi Eliezer says, Kol Shalom HaEret Chenda Tova Olchava Yivirkat HaAret, Whoever did not say desirable, good, and spacious land in the blessing of the land, or the kingdom of the house of David in the blessing of Bernay Yerushalayim, has not, has not discharged his obligation. Nachum Hazaken Omer, Nachum Yoga says, Tzarech she is called One must mention the covenant in the blessing of the, the covenant of circumcision, that is, in the blessing of the, of the land. Rabbi Yossi Omer, Rabbi Yossi says, Terech she is called Torah. One also mentions the Torah in the blessing of the land. Palema Omer, Palema says, Terech she actin berit la Torah. One must mention the covenant before the Torah, the covenant of circumcision before the Torah. Shezo nitna beshalosh beritot. Because this one, the Torah, was given with three covenants. 
which is coming next page, Uzo Nitna Bishosha Esra Bretot, whereas this one that is circumcision is given with 13 covenants.